So if you guys can see behind me, uh, we're waiting on the countdown. This is probably something a lot of you guys have watched uh, live as well. Today's the big day. They're releasing the 2021 F-150, which you're probably going to see right there. I have a feeling this is another teaser. We'll just let this play out for a second, but the headlights do look cool. Now, the reason this is important for uh, guys like me and probably yourselves, I'm a three quarter ton and up type of guy. I had a half ton truck. It was my first truck. And ever since I switched to diesel, like it was just a game changer. But like GM, uh, Ford kind of does things on the half ton truck first. And then the three quarter ton and up trucks usually follow suit. And also, if you guys know me, you guys know I'm a big GM guy. Obviously, my YouTube channel, DMAX Rhino, Duramax Rhino, for everybody that never figured that out. But being a GM guy, that doesn't mean I'm super closed minded. Obviously, I own a bunch of old Fords. I've owned four Fords in my life, but I do own a lot of GM products as well. I come from a family that always owned GM products. But again, yes, we did get my dad an F450. And that also plays into kind of why I want to watch this. One of the reasons I was holding off on getting the F450 that I wanted for myself was because I was worried about the interior just being outdated. Now, 2021 did bring a little refresh to the front end of the Ford, but the interior stayed the same on the, the Super Duty platform. So it almost kind of like, to me, it had like a, I don't know, 2010 vibe to it. It was just nowhere near competing with like the Rams and all that type of stuff. So I was holding off on getting myself an F450. Unfortunately, my dad had to sell his Kodiak. And well, we had no options. We were kind of pushed into going. There was no waiting a year or anything like that. So ended up getting him the 450, which is really nice. Don't take it the wrong way. I do really like the truck, but the technology in it just feels dated. So I'm really excited to see what's about to drop. I'm going to watch this kind of live for the first time with you guys. And if you care about my reaction, you'll get my reaction. If you don't care about my reaction, you probably already clicked off of this video. We're going to jump ahead to the spot. So you're not going to watch this whole thing live with me because that's probably very boring. Oh, the countdown. I mean, even this kind of looks dated. That's why we're here to hear about the innovation behind the best selling truck in America for more than four decades. Now, hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to take a pause on that one just for a sec. Cause that's just one of the one of the things the Ford guys now again let's not start the battle I'm sure the comment section is going to be a battle but when everybody says you know when I talk crap about Ford and again don't get me wrong you heard me preface this video everybody says well yeah it's the number one selling truck in anywhere I mean they've sold the most McDonald's has also sold the most hamburgers wouldn't put them in the highest quality category all right back to the video you guys can have fun with that one in the comment section from what we've heard so far I think it's fair to say the bar has been set pretty high it's long been said the F-150 is the bar Jackie and Marco. They take up valuable space in the bed and they often get stolen. We also saw how the tailgate is so frequently used as a hub for crews to meet around or to work from. Out fishing, we discovered how hard it is to make an early start when it's- I think we're keying in on all the stuff that they're gonna be changing. Customers are using the inside of their truck as a base for operations. Oh, Whether it's they, lunch on the they should see inside of my Ford. You are going to see examples of innovations that are the direct result of what we learned. All right, that's why we're all right. let's see some innovations. I think we're going in the interior, which this to me is what's gonna hopefully dictate what's gonna happen on the power strokes. All right, I'm like, it we're getting the bigger screen oh already the infotainment system looking a million times better i like the lay flat i like the lay flat we can now sleep in your truck instead of work so they're showing us the tailgate there is the using it as a workbench which is cool if it had its own power station work from home work from your truck oh all right that was kind of cool i'm not a center console shifter guy for a lot of reasons, I think it makes them feel too much like cars. Did you see that shifter fold down to make a flat surface there for a laptop or whatever? I'm definitely seeing some changes. I'm seeing some stuff I like. Completely redesigned the interior. I'm liking it. I like this screen. Detail. That's a good size the screen without, I, the RAM is big, but it kind of mimics the Tesla a little too much. I like real knobs and buttons for like HVAC controls and stuff. For instance, nearly one third of truck owners use their laptops in the cab. But there hasn't been a comfortable way to I don't do know if that's true. One third of truck owners use their laptops in the cab. That's a wrap. That's a cool feature of seeing that bad boy fold down. Easier, more I like that that flips over. Revolutionizing what it's like to spend eight, 10, or even 12 hours a day in this truck. If you're spending 12 hours a day in your truck, I, I wouldn't want your job. 12 inch display. That's rad. That is really cool. Is this is still kind of looking a little dated when they first showed it and they showed the little icons for the apps it was looking pretty updated but that might have been like mirroring uh an iphone or something so they got almost 180 degree reclining seats i guess that's so when you're waiting for the tow truck you can take a nap that is something the newer trucks really do miss is the fold down seats all the way like the older vehicles or some cars do a lot of new trucks don't do that. I don't know if that little storage is innovation. I might have just missed what he said about it, but the uh, 450 has that undersea storage like that. All right, we got a tailgate. They're calling the work surface. 
Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Functionality. That I'm, I, people that put pre-marked measurements on stuff like who's gonna who's gonna use that unless you're measuring your fish I don't really see no construction purpose really is gonna use that little pre-measurement stuff on the tailgate that's pretty cool the steps automatically lower if you approach the vehicle with the key in your pocket or you can kick it if you don't have the key with you to be able to get into the side of the bed there. I've never been a fan of running boards that run all the way back to like the front of the rear tire. Oh, and then they got their, uh, if you can't back a trailer, you shouldn't be backing a trailer knob. I guess you get all the cameras of the Super Duty when backing a trailer. And the all new F-150 is Ford's next step to bringing connected vehicles to customers to help them save time. F-150 is the first full-size pickup with over-the-air updates. You'll get all the updates you typically I don't know if I'm a fan of this over the air update stuff. We all know what happens to your iPhone when it starts to get old. Apple starts to slow it down. If you ever notice, right after if you like finance your phone through your phone company, your phone plan or whatever, second that booger gets paid off, all kinds of stuff starts to go weird. I mean, Apple got caught for actually slowing down or lowering the battery life of or slowing down phones or lowering the battery life, whatever it was, of phones. Like they got they got caught doing that. I don't like over the air stuff. All of a sudden, stuff's just gonna happen to go wrong on your truck and they're gonna conveniently make a lot of money in service fees. The result is much more vehicle uptime, delivering the increased product. Like, how many updates do we need on vehicles? All right, so they're updating, going away from Sync 3. They're now onto Sync 4, which is their kind of operating system. Sync 4 can also wirelessly connect to your smartphone for integration with. So, here's what they were doing. This is what I talked about, I saw earlier. They actually. Uh, that's an iPhone or that's that's mirroring a phone screen. That's why it looked so updated. I'm hoping that their infotainment system is more updated because the one we currently have in the F450 it just looks so dated. Vehicles, road infrastructure, people and businesses. This technology will make driving even more efficient. So they're talking about like they're preempting the vehicle with a lot of technology that's going to come out in the future to where whether your vehicles can talk to street lights or whatever like I don't like that much tech. Eventually the vehicles are going to have too much, but do you really think you're paying for this tech now? Do you really think you're going to own that vehicle long enough for that technology to come out? Or by the time the technology comes out, it's probably not even going to work with this and you're going to need to buy a newer vehicle. That's one of the things that like when they pre uh, wire or pre plan vehicles for things like GM did with the wireless charging that didn't work on the newer iPhones and stuff. All right, here we go. We're going for the exterior. Six engines. All right, that's cool. I'm not digging that two-tone they just showed. I want to know more about the digital dash. That looks pretty rad. That's looking more on the GMC style where it's a full screen, or well, the GMC is almost a full screen, but. All right, we got a cup holder, iPhone holder. I don't like these little swoopity swoopities they got going on here. They did that on their tailgate of the previous years, and it was just something that I never liked. Assuming now we're about to drive it on stage. First, we got to do some off-roading. Yeah, wouldn't have high-centered on any of that. I don't know if I would have personally used this color two-tone as my, my reveal option, but here she comes. I mean, it's it's definitely a pretty truck. I'll, I'll give it to them. It, it, it's a good looking truck. I'm feeling a little kind of GM-ish on the lighting there, but I know Ford did it and then GM did it and then Ford. I don't know. So many of these auto manufacturers stuff starts to look very, very similar. We've redesigned the F-150 from bumper to bumper. In fact, every exterior body panel on this truck is new. All right. And as you can see, it delivers a tougher, more planted look. We pulled the wheels out three quarters of an inch and it's more aerodynamic. I don't know, guys. Looking at that front end, like I'm kind of seeing like, you know, when somebody like smokes too much meth and their uh, chin starts to really suck up into them. That's that's kind of what I'm seeing there. I don't I don't know if I'm a huge fan of that front end. I don't know. I mean, all these trucks usually takes a minute to grow on you. I don't know if I can get over. Like I don't know if I can get over that chin look. They're offering 11 different grills. It's cool. It looks like you're gonna be able to pretty much uh, customize this thing pretty well from the factory. And that's one thing auto manufacturers are starting to really get on board with is all the color matching the stuff that like we're spending money on. You can already buy the truck done up that way now. And while we're talking about driving this new truck, we've got Karen Sullivan here to talk about the driver assist technology. F-150 will be the only full-size pickup with available hands-free driving, thanks to active drive assist. Uh, hands-free driving, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I trust it. Be able to drive with their hands off the steering wheel. An advanced driver-facing camera monitors eye gaze and head position. The system notifies right. the driver when they need to return their focus to the road and will possibly slow the vehicle until they're ready to engage again. 
no matter how I don't like that we'll possibly slow the vehicle until you're ready to engage again like I need some some affirmations there I want to make sure it's gonna slow the vehicle intersection assist detect oncoming traffic while the driver is attempting to make a left turn and will apply the brakes if it senses it needs to avoid a possible collision that could be dangerous though so that's it right nope there's more there's more. All right, this is looking a little better, a little better. I'm thinking you lift this thing, throw like a skid plate underneath it, it'll really clear up the chin issue we're having. Available 7.2 kilowatts generator power station in the truck. That's kind of a lot. I mean, I don't know if you really want to be running your truck all day to run your job site. I'm sure that's not that great for it, but cool to have the ability for when you need it. We got, oh, this is the limited, I think. Looks like it says limit. No. Yep. Yep. I see limited right there. All right. This front end is looking better. Everything color matched. Oh, all right. I don't know what version that is. Oh, we got the power boost. Looks like we're keeping the same little touchpad right there. Like, can we update that? That was the one thing on the F450. Can we make a nicer looking keyless entry? Power boost hybrid engine. It's the only full hybrid in a full size pickup. Power boost hybrid. Details closer to launch, but today, I'm very proud to announce the Power Boost Hybrid Engine is targeted to have the best in class power and torque and will have at least 12,000 pounds max. 12,000 pounds of towing capacity with the Power Boost on a 1500 or a, a half ton truck, I should say. Of approximately 700 miles of driving on a single tank. That's pretty impressive. 700 miles on a tank of gas. Obviously, we know those aren't real world numbers, but I wonder what this Pro Power setup is going to be. I bet that's going to be pretty expensive. Pro Power on board provides the extra power you need for everything from tailgating to camping to the entire work site. No other truck has ever I don't know if I'm really liking the uh, apostrophe badge right there. Like that thing is a perfect apostrophe. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Did, didn't mean that. All right, so they're wrapping up back there. Great job, guys. Great job. Um, I gotta say, guys, uh, I am impressed with what I'm seeing on the interior. Exterior wise, obviously, I'm not a, a half ton truck guy, so. I'm more interested in what they're gonna be doing with the super duties, but like I was saying earlier in this video, typically interior wise and all the technology and all that stuff transfers over to the uh, three quarter ton and up uh, vehicles. I'm excited to see the technology. The generator station is cool. I know with like current trucks, they usually have like one outlet. I'm always scared of hooking a circ saw or something to that outlet and burning it up. So seeing that they're building something dedicated just to that, not running like a blender at the tailgate party is really, really rad. The flat tailgate is funny because Ford, when they first came out with their tailgate stand, it like sat on top of the tailgate and it made it it was just completely in the way of sliding anything in and out of your tailgate so it's funny to see them like that far address it because they made one of the worst tailgates for doing anything on and now it looks like they're trying to make one of the best i'm curious as to what they're going to do for the 2021 raptor now i wonder if we can get a raptor diesel that'd be pretty sick now i know this wasn't my typical style of video hopefully you guys don't mind it or you enjoyed it if you made it this far you probably enjoyed it or you're waiting to comment something really bad in the comment section but with that we're gonna wrap up guys as always thank you so much for watching if you have not subscribed already please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content don't forget to give this video a like a thumbs up don't forget to check out workforapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life you gotta be willing to work for it you guys are the best i'm out damn uh. yeah uh. Yeah.